Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks SDE Sheet. In this video, we talk about how to perform binary search in sorted array. The problem statement says you will be given a sorted array and the key. If the key is available, return the index number, otherwise return minus 1. The problem is also available in lead code. So let's move on. The simplest solution will be you start from index 0, move towards n minus 1 index. Whenever you find a key, return the index number, otherwise return minus 1. This solution takes time complexity as big O of n because if the key is not available, we traverse through complete array. The space complexity will be constant. Can we improve on time complexity? Yes. Because elements are sorted here. You pick up any element, let's consider element 6. All the elements towards left are smaller than 6. All the elements towards right are higher than 6. So if you want to find out a higher value than 6, you can skip the left part. Similarly, if you want to find out a lower value than 6, you can ignore the right part. With this analogy, we can improve the time complexity. Let's initialize the start index as 0, end index as n minus 1. Figure out the mid index by taking average of these two. So the mid index will be 3. Now compare the mid value with the given key. So now the mid value is less than key, so that key must be on right side. To move towards right, update the start index equal to mid index plus 1. So the new start index will be 4. Now again calculate the mid index. Now the mid value is greater than the key. So the key must be on left side. So to move towards left, update the end index equal to mid index minus 1. Now, uh, now calculate the mid index. Now the mid value which is equal to key. So return the index number. So if you see we have 8 elements. We figure out the solution in 3 steps. So we can represent this as log 8 base 2 which is equal to 3. So the time complexity will be log n and the space complexity will be constant. Let's understand what if the key is not available. Let's see we have a key as 7 which is not presented in the array. So as usually we calculate the mid index. Now the mid value is less than key. We move towards right. Now the new mid value will be 9 which is greater than key. So we move towards left. Now again we calculate the mid. So the new mid value is greater than 7. So again we move towards left. Now you see the start index is greater than end index. So we break, the, we return minus 1. That's it. So let's solve this problem. So simply what we do, we initialize start index as 0 and the end index as n minus 1 and uh, take the mid index. So we need to process this solution where start index is less than or equal to n index. So each time calculate the mid index. So you can uh, find out the average of mid index by just doing uh, start index plus index n index by 2. But for higher input right, this is not the right uh, way of calculating the mid index. So you can use this principle. So this will also give the same result. So you just write start index plus n index minus start index by 2. So uh, this is also same as above to calculate the mid index. All right. So now compare the mid index. So we have a mid index. If the mid index which is equal to key, then return the index. Then let's see a else if the mid index value is uh, less than 6. So it means less than key. It means you need to move towards right. For that, just update the start index which is equal to mid index plus 1. Else, 
you need to move to the left so that uh, just update and index equal mid index minus one that's it so if the key is available you can find out the solution here if the key is not available it will break the condition so you just need to return minus one that's it so let's run it then submit it so that's it hope you enjoy the session so please do subscribe and share thank you very much